Hey everybody, Cloverity here. Today I want to show you guys how to make your own Ticket Light server. Now let me just tell you something straight on right now. If you already know how to make a regular Ticket Classic server, then you do not need to watch this video because it'll just be a waste of time. It's the exact same thing. So what we want to do is go to Google, like so, and then we're going to go to Technic Pack. Oh, excuse me, Technic Pack. Okay, the home Technic. All right, and there'll be a tab for Ticket Light once all this loads up. So here we go, Ticket Light. Perfect. And now we want to download the Ticket Light server. So it's the second right here. We'll wait for it to download. See, it's pretty quick. Seven, six, five, about ten seconds. You have to wait. I've actually done this a couple of times. So hold up, because see, I have one in my recycling bin. Empty the recycle bin, delete all those, and then we need, hold on, alright, it's all done, it's just got to finish compacting, any second now, but yeah, alright, it's pretty easy, so you open this up, and now, this is what many people do straight on. You see launch and you want to launch the server, so you go to this, but you get this error message saying unable to access jar file ticket light. So that's a problem. And people, you'll look it up on Google and you don't really get a straight answer. But this is what you're doing wrong. First thing you need to do before you launch it is you need to highlight all these things within the folder. Right click. And then you need to extract to the specific folder. So we're going to make a folder on desktop. And we'll put it in a new folder on the desktop. Just call it, call it, Ticket Light Survey. Survey. There we go. Okay, and now it's going to extract all these things to their own little folder outside of the zip. So we don't need that anymore, so we'll delete that. Okay, now you need to launch it for the first time. And it's going to go through all these commands, get it all set up for you. So it's installing all these weird things. Now the first time you launch it, you can't play it. So we're going to need to wait for this to go all on, for all these things to finish, and then you need to stop the survey, and then you launch it again, and you're pretty much done. So, yeah. I mean, I'll wait for it just to show you how it works, but uh, basically all you have to do is just wait for all this to finish, and then, like I said, just type in stop. I'm not going to do it now because it's not done. But you would just type in stop. See, it won't even let me do it because it's still going. But you would type stop, and then you would just click launch again. And then you would use your, your computer's IP, and you just get on it just like that. Now, if you don't know how to find out what your IP is for your computer, there's two ways to do this. You can go to, and this will give you two different things. What is my IP? This is my IP. So, yeah. Alright, and there's another way. If you go to command, command prompt, and you type in IP config, enter, it'll bring you all these different things. What you need to find is called IP4 address, but it's not that one. Here it is, IP4 address, wireless LAN adapter. So it's 192.168.1.5. So that's what we need to type in to get this server to work. Okay, so now that this is all done, we will go to stop. What? Slash stop. And there we go, slash stop, sorry about that slash stub and now as you can see it's created all these different things now if you want to make yourself an op or someone else your friends an op you just type in your in-game name in the ops thing usually it'll be open default by notepad and then you just save it and so now the server knows I'm an op so what we'll do is we'll launch that again okay we'll close this minimize that then open up the Technic Launcher okay so after all that trouble we finally got it open and so now, now that this is all done, you need to go to multiplayer, and you put in your IP address, and there it is. It's available to go on. 
So I hope this helped everybody. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you or if you liked it. And let me know if you want me to make any more tutorials and about what. Well, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.